This bag retails for 11, or it did retail at the time that it was discontinued, it did retail for 11,800 US dollar. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, to my little corner of the internet here we talk about luxury designer handbags. If you haven't seen my last week's video about my medium lady Dior yet, then please go and check that one out. Um, and yeah, today we're going to talk about the large lady Dior. And um, yeah, I'm just a huge, huge, huge lady Dior lover and I really do want to add a fourth one to my collection soon. Um, but yeah, I haven't decided um, which size yet and which color and so on and so on, so we, we still get into that. Um, but yeah, today we talk about the Large Lady Dior bag and this one is, oh, this one was such a great find and I can't believe it. So this is the Large Lady Dior in the Royal Python and it's a really, really rare bag. Nowadays they only do make the mini Lady Dior's in the Royal Python still. And I think the medium and the large ones have been discontinued, the large ones for sure. So um, this bag is from 2007, so it's, yeah, it's not vintage yet, it's pre-love, but it's going to be vintage soon. <laughs> so um, yeah, nonetheless, I was so happy when I found this beauty because this bag retails for 11, or it did retail at the time that it was discontinued, it did retail for 11,800 US dollar. So around 10,000 pound. I did find it for a fraction of that price in a in, in, in designer exchange actually, which is a reseller here in London that I do recommend a lot. Their website isn't that great, but um, if you go into the physical stores, they are amazing. You feel like you're in handbag heaven. <laughs> so um, they have stores all over the UK. Um, most of them are in London, but I think they have some Manchester and Leeds. I found this bag there. I always do find like treasures in their shop and I just like going there because you really do never know what you actually find. So this one, I know when I was a teenager that I saw this one actually in Berlin um, in the KDB. It's like the Harrods, it's like a big department store. And of course, at the time, I, you know, would never have been able to buy a bag like this. And I was just standing in front of that bag and my mom came and she was like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And I was like, no, I just, I just really want that bag. I just want to stare at it a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, my mom was dragging me away from that bag then. But it was this Royal Python bag. And so I, I was amazed when I found it. I was like, oh my God, yeah, now I can actually add it to my collection. So so happy <laughs> that I do own this one and it's still in pretty pretty good condition because I did send it to the Dior Spa as well what I do with most of my vintage bags and um, they reshaped the entire bag they exchanged the hardware so it's all beautiful and shiny oops it's all beautiful and shiny now and also they gave me a shoulder strap because this bag didn't come with a shoulder strap. If you want to know about pricing when it comes to the Dior Spa, how I like to call it, if you send you back to Paris basically to be restored, um, then go and check out my Bag Talk Monday number one and number two video. I give you all the answers in those two videos. <laughs> so um, yeah, this one is just absolutely stunning. Um, this is the front of the bag, side back the other side and it does come with a typical five feet as well so um yeah it does still have the zipper pull um nowadays you can even get the large lady dior's with a flap because a lot of people don't like the opening um you know people tend to scratch their arms i haven't had any problems yet but that's what i hear um so inside you it's leather lined it's like this beautiful beige leather it has one Zipper compartment at the back, as all Lady Dior bags have, and then it's just one big compartment, basically. And here is the shoulder strap. So, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really happy that, you know, I can always complete my vintage bags as well. If they don't come with a strap, you just go to Dior, um, to USA, and, yeah, basically ask for one. And it's not too... it doesn't cost too much to actually restore bags, so... You definitely save a lot if you go down the pre-love market, get a bag there, restore it, and you still save like tons, like thousands of pounds um, if, if you don't buy it, you know, retail price. So um, here's the strap, let me quickly attach that. Yeah, so here's the bag with the strap attached. And yeah, I like to carry the bag with the shoulder strap. I'm gonna show you modeling shots in a second. 
Um, but yeah, what, what else can I tell you? If you want to know a little bit more about the history of the Lady Dior, then go and check out the Medium Lady Dior bag video from last week. Like I said, um, but yeah, I mean, most people do know probably that it's named after Lady Diana. It was given to her, that's why it's called Lady Dior. Exotics are obviously very, very expensive if you buy them for the retail price. Um, on the pre-loved market, like I said, you can save a lot. <laughs> I'm so, so happy that I do own this bag and that it's fully restored now. And I mean, it looks like new. Look at it, it's absolutely stunning. I did see um, the mini Lady Dior and the Royal Python Inherits before the lockdown. And actually, I felt like that bag looked more worn already. I mean, it was a display bag, maybe a lot of people have tried it on, I don't know. But like a lot of the gold, actually where the gold plated stripe goes down, there were like little scratches and it was like all... Yeah, it just looked worn. <laughs> and so I'm really, really happy of how mine looks like, of how it did hold up um, over the years. And yeah, whoever owned it beforehand, they did wear it for sure. Um, but still, you know, it's, it's, they took good care of it. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, what else can I tell you? It's just uh, a lot of people ask if a laptop fits into this bag. Um, only tiny laptops, like a 14 inch laptop, you could probably try to navigate in here, but everything that's bigger is not gonna work. A tablet does fit in here for sure. It's of course a little bit more difficult to navigate stuff into the bags with the zipper pulls. It's a lot easier if you have the large Lady Dior's that come with the flap nowadays, um, because it does give you a lot more room to, you know, put your stuff in it. Um, so yeah, let's look at some modeling shots. Okay, so here is the beautiful bag and I just love how the light reflects on this gold-plated stripe in the middle. It's just so beautiful. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you can either wear the bag handheld as well, or you just wear it on the crook of your arm, which of course gives it this ladylike look. It just reminds me of Blair Waldorf, if there are any other Gossip Girl fans out there. <laughs> she was always wearing a large Lady Dior, even to high school. <laughs> So um, yeah, those two ways, um, or like my preferred way of wearing this bag is just over my shoulder and oh, yeah, definitely my preferred way. And um, you can pack this bag up so um, a lot of stuff actually fits in here and then it's more comfortable if you wear it with a shoulder strap than just on the crook of your arm. It gets as heavy as a Birkin if you pack it up. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's basically everything about my large lady Dior. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comment section down below and I will answer them or I will answer them on the next Back Talk Mondays. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. That's how I like to call it. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.